Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for being part of our Young's Daughters Funeral Home Family and Bereavement Center. Uh, today, I am so excited to bring Justin Crow. He is with Parting Stone. And I saw this come across one day and I said, what is Parting Stone? I have to know more about it. And I want to thank my families that have found comfort in it so far, but I want to really spend this time to educate. So right now, I want to introduce you to Justin Crow. Thanks so much for having me on the on the show here. Um, yeah, so my name is Justin Crow. I'm the founder of Parting Stone. Uh, we developed uh, uh, Solidified Remains, which is a complete alternative to cremated remains for families choosing cremation. Instead of receiving uh, the bag uh, or urn of ash, you can choose to receive a collection of, uh, they look like river stones. There's about 40 to 60 of them. Um, and I can actually show you my grandpa uh, or part of my grandpa, uh, he's here with me. So this is one stone and there was about 40 of, of these that got kind of spread, around, spread out to uh, his kids and grandchildren. So how did you get started? What, what drove the idea for Parting Stone? Yeah, what drove the idea was uh, my own experience with death and loss uh, and of my grandfather. And when he died, I started to talk to people around me about their experience with loss. And people kept telling me that they were keeping the remains of people who they loved in closets and basements and garages. And they would tell me that they, they wanted to keep the ashes out, but they were afraid to bring dates home when mom was in an urn on that mantle or they were afraid to look at the ash because they might see bone fragments. And so they were ending up in closets for decades. And this is one of our most treasured possessions. And so around that time, I just thought, surely there's gotta be a, a better solution for this, uh, a form of remains that we could develop that, that felt more meaningful. And so how, how did you come about the process of making solidified remains? Mm. Yeah, originally, so we're based in Santa Fe, New Mexico. That's where our laboratory is. And uh, we work with Los Alamos National Laboratory. Uh, we got a grant to work with them to develop this technology to offer a solid form of remains to families. Wow. So what have you seen for the rituals that family gets to use um, solidified remains? Yeah, this has been super interesting um, because there's never really been a form of remains that you can touch and hold and interact with. And we've seen so many new rituals kind of naturally develop out of this new experience. Uh, one of my favorites is we've heard about families having remains reveal parties where they'll receive the remains back. They'll, uh, in, a, in a box, they'll invite the family over uh, around the kitchen table. They'll pour champagne and I'll open that box together for the first time uh, and they'll pull out the stones and everyone will take home the ones that they like best at the end of the evening. Well, that is a neat concept. Um, yeah. I think that would be tremendously healing. Um, yeah. And I think that could really open up a new, a new client base um, because, you know, you're right. Everybody puts them in their closets or their heirloom down and they try to put them in other people's caskets that pass away and they're saying, well, mother would have liked this and let's put grandma with her. Um, they're looking for other alternative ways and families, I think this is gonna be a wonderful option um, offering this experience. I heard you once say before that it's a start of an experience. Can you elaborate a little bit more about that? Yeah, so what we really see this form of remains as is a platform or a, can a canvas for experiences. So. Whereas some keepsakes in the industry, like um, you know the the necklaces or some of the glass or some of the urns, these are really meaningful, but they are the experience. But what we're seeing with the families we're working with is we're getting the remain they're getting the remains back, and they're doing something else. They're taking mom to Hawaii on the trip she never got to go on. They're hiking up a mountain and leaving her at one of her favorite trails. They're distributing them to all the grandkids. Uh, and so it's really the beginning of the experience, uh, kind of rather than the conclusion of the experience, which we think is really beautiful and seems to be meaningful to the families that we work with. Absolutely. And so the difference between scattering ashes and scattering a stone or stones, uh, what walk me through, what's the difference there? Yeah, it's what we find is <laughs> early on when creating the company, everyone has heard these 
kind of horror stories of ash scattering, the wind blowing, them getting on you, it not going as planned, the bag leaking, like unpleasant things. And what solidified remains has allowed families who want to scatter is a completely predictable experience. It's clean, it's meaningful. You get to actually physically hold the remains. You can place them uh, in front of trees. You can bury them. We've seen people throw them off of these beautiful cliffs into the forest, um, but it provides a predictable memorial experience for the families that want to scatter. Um, do you get to do any different colors with them? Do you, mm. can, can a family request a, a specific color back if they wanted like any personalization to them? Uh, we don't offer, because we're not a, really a product, we're a form of remains. It's kind of whatever comes out of the process. But what we're finding, which is super interesting, is that every, every person's remains and every person is unique. And so we've seen naturally coming out of our process, all kinds of colors like greens and blues and uh, lavender and honey yellow and some chocolate browns. And um, we'll get a lot of white as well. Um, but the colors and the textures are completely natural, which has been a fascinating part of this technology. And really, families really love that, like seeing those the solidified remains for the first time to see what their loved one looks like in this new form. And I love that it's part of a reveal party, right? Yeah, so yeah. I can see why somebody's uniqueness coming back in, in your solidified um, would be such a surprise and you can see yeah. that it would be wow this is what that loved one has now created from itself so I, I love the reveal party I think this could be tremendously healing for our families that are in the Bell County area um, we are also a pet funeral home and I really was um, honed in on the fact that you also offer this for pets Describe to me what kind of pets you accept, um, and if it does the does those stones come back nearly the same color as humans? Yeah, we accept all pets. Uh, we do mostly dogs at this point, but um, we've done a chicken, we've done a ferret, we've done a hamster, we've done a fish. Uh, so we've done all kinds of animals that are meaningful to people in their lives, um, and they yeah they come back uh, similar in in color to the people. Um, there are variations in that too. Our, the chicken came back really like a chocolate brown. It was really beautiful. Um, yeah. Well, I totally am excited to offer this to our families. I'm glad we are walking in a partnership together. Um, yeah. On our website, we are featuring that your um, your affiliate link there, and so Great. families can definitely um, find us to find you. Um, I want to thank you so much, Justin, for for being here and educating because it's so uh, empowering for families to know that there's other options than just cremated remains or you know the other companies that are advancing. So. I want to thank you so much again for taking the time to meet with me and educating our families. Yeah, and thank you for being a partner. You, you were one of our early partners. You are progressing this field. You're giving families options. We're happy to be partnered with you. And I also want to say that um, we work with remains um, after, after the cremation as well. So if you've had remains in your home for a number of years that you'd like to have solidified, you can absolutely talk to Sabrina, go to the, go to the webpage and uh, we can work with you there as well. Yeah, thank you so much, Sabrina. All right, well, everybody, I will put the information down below the video um, to follow up. But I, again, thank you everyone, much love. Well, cool. thanks, bye-bye.